at the beginning whenever my grandpa Wilson first uh, found this place. And that was back in the 40s. He come down through here. Of course, all this, this wasn't the hill. We still had the tracks, but he brought my grandma down here and he come across the tracks and they went down this road and they went down this field and saw the farm. He got back to town and grandpa said, well, what do you think about that? And grandma said, I wouldn't have it if you was trying to give it to me. Well, he said, that's good, but we just bought it. And so that, that's where it started. Uh, this is on the South Farm down here. And uh, we gone ahead, and like I said, that was in the 40s. It wasn't very long after that that he put up this barn out here and he had some cattle. And he started raising some cattle along with crops. And so uh, he had his hands in, in both pots, so to speak. He still maintained a, a little bit of a herd, but he died when he was 45 years old. That was in 1955, 46 years old, maybe. But after his death, my dad was 20 years old. He took over the farm and it was just trying to raise the cattle and the grains was just a little bit much. And he really didn't have a big interest in cattle. So he got rid of them, but we've maintained the barn and we were trying, we've got a couple of horses out here right now. And we try to keep it up cause it is a landmark, so to speak. It, it's been here since the early fifties, at least. I know it might've been the late forties, but I'm thinking it was the early fifties. And we're trying to keep it up and maintain it kind of as a, a landmark to the farm. Our farm now is mostly grains and we raise rice and soybeans mostly. We have raised wheat and we have raised corn. And that's something I might be interested in getting back into uh, with the fur irrigation and all of that. If you get your ground precision level and get it to where you can fur irrigate it, uh, it works well. This is the latter part of April and we're just, we're not really behind in our crops as far as getting things planted. Uh, but we're not ahead either. We, we're just kind of right in between. Normally, we'd like to try to start planting uh, around the 1st of April. And so we're in that regard, it's been wet. It has been wet the last few years as far as trying to get the crops in. Uh, but uh, we are making progress. We've got uh, drills going right now. We've got uh, other field preparation going, trying to get things ready to go ahead and get our rice in the ground. Now, uh, beans we, will be coming along uh, latter part of May, first part of June. That's normally whenever we try to plant our beans. We've got uh, some of our rice planted. We've still got uh, a lot of acres to go yet. The uh, Lord's been good to us. We've had some good weather here lately and we've been able to go ahead and, and work our fields and get them ready and to start putting it in the ground.